Hello fellow builders and welcome to Ricksburg. If you've been here before and like the content, consider subscribing. If you're new to the channel, you'll find LEGO alternate brands and we try to post new content weekly. Today's build is the Mizzeny Ford GT500 from their mini car series. As always, I will include the Amazon links in the description. Enjoy the quick stop motion build followed by a review of the good, bad, and the ugly. And stay until the end to find out what set will be reviewed next. Before we get into the review, if you like the content, please take a moment to hit the like button. It helps the algorithm get this video to other passionate builders. I have to apologize that this review did not come with an unboxing. Unfortunately, after I downloaded the video file, I must have accidentally deleted it from my external hard drive. And by the time I realized it a few days later, the file was unrecoverable. With the bad news out of the way, let's get to the good stuff. Here's a quick rundown of the details. The complexity for this set is a 3 out of 10 with an approximate completion time of two hours. This set was priced at $19.59 when I purchased it, with 476 pieces and its per piece breakdown is 4.1 cents. Now let's see how the dimensions stack up against one of the LEGO Speed Champions. As you can see, it's slightly larger than the Toyota Supra. Now let's find out if the Ford GT500 will fit LEGO Rick. He does fit well. What you didn't see is LEGO Rick taking the Mustang out for a crazy weekend. Now let's get to the good, bad, and the ugly. Starting with the good, the Ford GT500 looks great and was at the top of the poll list when I introduced these sets several weeks ago. I have to say this set did not disappoint. It was designed very well and is a solid build. It has easy to follow instructions, but the paper quality again is, is not that great. It does have quality pieces with limited stickers. The price I paid was a good price for this size. One thing of note, this set went through a price war not too long ago and some builders were able to pick up this set and others for around $16. With this set being the largest of the current lineup, it is definitely worth the price. Lastly, this set did not have a whole lot of colorful pieces, but they did use the few purple and orange pieces to great effect. Now for the bad or the annoying. The only thing annoying about this set was the generic box. As for the ugly, I didn't find anything specifically ugly about this set. As for my rating, I give the Mizzeny Ford GT500 a 5 out of 5 stars. Again, my rating is based on the complexity, entertainment value, what you get for the money, the quality of the pieces, and how it holds up after it's complete. Fellow builders, I hope you enjoyed this Mizzeny review. Please make sure to hit the like button and consider sharing and subscribing. Also check out the other videos on Ricksburg's main page. If you're interested in picking up this set, I will include the Amazon links in the description. Thank you, and until next time, keep building.